Welcome back, everyone, to Packers vs. Lions, Man NFL 24 Part 2. <coughs> Sorry, I said. Getting over sickness, if you guys hear me cough, just ignore it, honestly. Alright. Oh, we're gonna um, switch over to Packers, my bad. I right, switch over just so that both teams have a fair, balanced game. I'm not trying to screw anyone over. Packers slants. Jordan Love ready on first down here. And he can't find a receiver and he's brought down. All right, that was kind of a bad play on my part. Um, You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so you can keep Watson. Seriously, so did? Watson, you gotta catch the ball, then. Stop shaking! Stop shaking the screen now. We're not gonna make it anyways. Oh, wait, we can go forward and forth. We can go forward and forth. We're gonna go forward and forth. I knew it, 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 I knew it. I knew that was gonna happen, dude. The Packers have such a bad play machine, dude. I need to use different ones. sided game so far as we'll head down to Orlando that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports halftime report coach all right Brandon thanks very much welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports halftime report the Lions got a very strong performance out of their quarterback Jared Goff he threw two touchdown passes ran for another as his guys have the lead at halftime And able to get this across the twin not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Amon Ross St. Brown to the rest of the Detroit Lions getting set for another series here. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over hundred yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they yeah, whatever the Packers are doing is not looking, I can guarantee you that. What? He dropped it? Wow, dude. Wow. He dropped it. I'm actually somewhat surprised. 
Oh, wait, it's, it's going to get turned over, isn't it? I'm going to switch over to lines because I feel like it's going to get overturned. Yep, we got turned over. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Now gone. He'll go right back to St. Brown. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45 yard line. Now Goff on first down. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. Short completion. <laughs> I made it for that one. Oh, dude, I wasn't going to make it all the way, dude. He's like, yeah, he's like, yeah, why, why, didn't, that, why didn't that work for me? I don't know. Oh, he got, oh, he got hurt. He landed hard, dude. He didn't get injured, but he landed pretty hard. Laporta! Bruh! To give you an idea of how accurate he's been really? We're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me, it's like throwing a no hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Jeez, dude, they're getting a smoke 28 to 6. I'm sorry if you're a Packer fan and you're watching this, but I don't know what's going on. And I'm playing really bad right now, so. Well, looks like the Lions are moving on, and they're going to face the winner of the Cowboys and Rangers game next episode. up here first and 10 at their 25 yard line they'll come out throwing here to start the drive oh not so fast buddy not gonna happen not gonna happen best game throwing the football but also not getting a lot of help out there either yeah you kind of you nailed it pretty well you know he's got to throw it better Got to get more help. Obviously, one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the thirty. They like going to him. The slide catches it up. I think this comes over the head enough until they stop him. Why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy. And he's gonna be. Oh, let's go! Let's go! No, oh, dude, I was hoping to make it other way, dude. Bro, the Lions are dominating. Holy, dude. Okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively. Not all the time, but sometimes. Oh, and then he doesn't catch it. All right, I don't know why he didn't catch it. That was your fault, Mitchell. I, I threw it to you, and then you didn't catch it, so. Eleven to the eleven. First and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. This pass caught at the four. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. Oh, 
To the air again. Golf. Buying. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Jared Goff. This is embarrassing. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Oh my god, that's hilarious! Oh my god. Well, they're in Detroit, so they have home field advantage, but still. 36 to 6, dude. I. Nixon elects not to return it, and this I don't even know what's going on, dude. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. But well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are right, you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. Back now at Ford Field. It's the Packers who have the football, but in need of points as we begin quarter. They're not going to win. They're no, they're, no, they're no chance to catch up in six minutes. Love now on second down. He'll go over the middle to read complete. It'll go as a gain of four. And that's going to lead to the third down. Search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Love from the gun on third down. That is caught. And he's going to have a Packers first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Love now. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Reed. And that's good for a gain of six. And that's going to bring They have good and they have good offense. They're just not scoring. Love looking to throw it. Throwing left side and Watson has it. 90 yards receiving now for him in the ball game. It's a first down. A little football one on one there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Uh, we're going to try and score with the uh, Packers here. But first, he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. That's good for 28 yards. To the air again, Love, and he takes a shot on the release. As right away, game. right away, the quarterback gets quarterback sacked. Like right away, like what even is that? A whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another Bro. To the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. What are these plays? Continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. And his and they'll make a small dent in that big deficit as it's down to 27. 
Well, in the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. Uh, <laughs> they're not gonna get close at all. But... Ah! Went to the right. to the end zone how about that I think right now they would happily go to their general manager and say is there any way you could get a trade for him bring him over to our team so he's not going for him anymore because he is really having a heck of a ball game isn't it boy he is I don't know that mid-game trade's going to happen but good thought to throw on second down is gone what was that on the slant and it's intercepted oh you gotta be kidding me dude Alright. I don't know what was that, golf dude. Seriously? Well in hand, but I think now you, you go conservative, don't you? Go into your shell, just run the football. What was that? To, Seriously, golf, sure what was really that? Protecting the football because you're gonna run into a stack <laughs> defensive ball, which is why they were throwing the football before. <laughs> they just their backs, you know, really beat up in that situation. Now, good luck to them. Carlson's extra point up and good, and the lead now down to 20. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And the Lions are able to cover this one up. The well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's All right. expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time... Goff, don't let that interception happen again. Here we go. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Goff's throw complete there to St. Brown. And brought down, but not... M -m -m Motor City! Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Back to throw, gone. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. They'll get him to the ground at the 20 following a pickup of four. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one sided affair. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. The ball resting on the 20. Here's second and six. Throwing now. Golf. His throw incomplete. Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive. And finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They slapped the double coverage on him. Made it very tough for him to get the ball. Golf. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's uh. okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe he didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the legs still there. This is gonna take Let's go! Got a first and goal, then. Right there. Right down the middle. How? Bro, Laporta sucks, dude. Trade him. Send him to Carolina. Give Carolina at least a, you know, a, a good player. Somewhat of a good player. Oh my god, bro. It's still not gonna matter. They're not gonna make it in a minute and 26. There's no way they do. It's still cracked open because they can come back on you now. The only people are really happy about those picks. Any fantasy team that has this defense. That's gonna be caught downfield by Reed. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. The Packers gonna use one of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 55 seconds remaining in the football game. Love now to pass.
Colts on first down. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. They've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletion. Going back to love. Dancing to his left. And that'll be incomplete with the penalty marker down as well. And I think he was beyond the line of scrimmage when that ball left his hand. So since that last play got nothing, they'll go ahead and decline the penalty. And that forces a fourth down situation. Let's go. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. A complete once again to Watson. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Play fake. Here's Love. Touchdown. What? Romeo Dobbs. I thought he wasn't in there. And the Packers have got it back to a two-score game here in the third. Carlson's extra point up and good. And that cuts this lead down to 13. So time definitely not in their favor. Down two scores, but they'll try the onside kick. And this will be covered up by the Lions, and that might just about seal the deal. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do oh, I was hoping you would run it, dude. Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. And he will have a Lions first down, and that's the one that should seal a victory. Goff going to throw it, and it's incomplete. That is my games over, anyways. It is 6 to 23. It's always just a little more emphasis on games like this. Everyone talks about playing each game the exact same way, but you have to know that is not true. All right, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, be sure to smash that like button. Show your appreciation for the channel, and I'll see you guys later. And if you guys are not subscribed, because I know that 50% of you that watch my videos are not subscribed, so please hit that subscribe button, show your support, and I'll see you guys later.